Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Next, we'll look at some of the basic concepts of printing. When you print from elements, you can send the image to a printing device to be transferred onto paper, film, a printing plate, or sent directly to a digital printing press. When you print a complex graphic, in order to create the illusion of continuous tones when printed, images are broken down into a series of dots. This process is called halftoning. When you change the sizes of the dots in a halftone screen, it creates the illusion of variations of gray or continuous color in an image. When you are having it printed in a commercial printing situation, each color in the image must be printed on separate master plates. This is the process of color separation and typically uses CMYK inks. To print your image to your default printer, select File and Print from the menu bar. And that will launch the Print dialog box where you can select a printer and set the various print options. Now depending on the version of elements you're using, your dialog box may look a little bit different, but you will still have the same choices to print your image. Here in the left pane, you can select to add or subtract photos to your print job by clicking the Add and Remove buttons at the bottom left corner of the screen. If you click Add, you can choose to add photos that are currently in the browser, an entire catalog, or album by simply clicking on those choices here. You then use the drop down to make your selection. You can search for images to add to the print job by keyword tag by selecting it and using the drop down to select the various tags. In addition, you can choose to only show photos with ratings and also show any hidden photos. Any choices you make will be displayed on the right hand side. Click any that you would like to add to the selection, like that, and then just click Done when you're done. Or, of course, you can click Cancel if you like to not choose any of them. Now in the middle pane here, you can choose to rotate the image by clicking those buttons here, like that. You can move the image around by clicking and dragging it around. And you can also scale it by using the slider. In the right pane over here is where you make your printing selections. First, select your printer using the drop-down. You can keep the current printer settings or click Change Settings over here. And here you can make advanced changes such as print quality, etc. Click Cancel. Next, you select a paper size. Then you select a type of print individual, picture package, or contact sheets. Then use the drop-down to select a print size. You can use one of the predetermined sizes, or you can select custom and create a custom size. And then finally, you choose the number of copies you want to print. You can enter a value into this text box, or you can use the arrows to adjust that value up and down. Now if you click the More Options button down here at the bottom, then you can set some advanced printer options if you're familiar with them. You would click on the choices here on the left, and you could adjust your color management and so forth if you're familiar with those types of things. Click Cancel. When you're ready to print, then you simply click the Print button in the bottom right hand corner to send your print job. And that's all you do. Now sometimes, depending on the images that you've chosen and the options that you've chosen, you might get a print warning dialog box like we see here. 
In this case, the following images will be rendered at less than 220 dpi at the requested print size. To continue, you would select continue and your print job would be sent. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.